welcome back to another video. This week for our grocery shop we are all going to head to Lidl. Um, it's Greek week and we're going to have a Greek chicken salad. So we're going to go and pick up, they've got some like um, anti-pasty kind of like plattery type things. So we're going to grab one of those and also they've got some tools and bits and bobs that Yanis wants to have a look at. So we're going to all head over. So that's good. It'll be nice to go somewhere different for a change. So we're going to head to Lidl and then when I get back I'll share with you what we grabbed and our meal plan. Um, I need quite a few bits and bobs but a lot of the meat will still be coming from the freezer because we're still actually working through the mussel food meat. So that worked out really good value. Um, and then next week I'm also going to get a HelloFresh box because I've got £30 credit on my account and it's bank holiday weekend. So I thought it'd be nice to grab a HelloFresh box. Um, so yeah, um, apart from that, I'm going to be uploading my lunch ideas video soon. And I've also got a snack first box um, that was sent to us that me and the boys tested out so i'll get that up as well so a couple of different things coming but if there's anything you would like to see please leave me a comment below um i'm happy to do different things if there's anything in particular you want like some budget recipes or like some meal planning tips like just let me know um but yeah we're gonna head out and then i will come back and show you what we grabbed from lidl Okay, so as always, I will start over here with the fruit and veg. So we've got some of the mixed seedless grapes. Got a huge family size pack of strawberries. They look really nice. They did have smaller packs, but they weren't that much cheaper. So uh, I think they were £3 something. So we've got a big one of those. Archie's still really enjoying his pears. So we've got a four pack of the ready to eat conference pears. They still feel a bit hard, but probably only a day or so and they'll be ready. And um, Archie chose some Granny Smith's apples as well for a bit of a change instead of um, the like kids apples. And then we got raspberries as well. So Archie tends to eat more apples and pears and Henry likes berries. So um, we've got the raspberries. And then the veg, I've still got some carrots and bits in the fridge. So I've just got a double head of broccoli. I've got some mushrooms for dinners. Got some white potatoes, they were a really good price as well, um, so I grabbed those. Got some mixed peppers, managed to find a bag where there was two very red ones and a yellow one in there, so I got those. And then we're going to have some like chicken and salad and flatbreads and stuff for dinner. So uh, we've got some romaine, lettuce and a cucumber. I didn't bother getting tomatoes because I'm really the only one that eats them, um, so I'll probably just do lettuce, cucumber and maybe some pepper. And then um, the fridgy bit, did actually get a four pint of blue milk as well, but it uh, split and it was leaking everywhere. So I had to decant it into um, a, another bottle. So that's in the fridge, but I did get a four pint of blue milk. And then Yanis grabbed one of these Oatly Baristas, which he likes for his coffee. We've got some tropical juice and the boys got some of the orange, pineapple and mango smoothies. Um, it was Greek week at Lidl, which was good. Um, so we've got a huge thing of the Greek low-fat yoghurt, which Anis will have with honey for breakfast. And then we also got one of these anti-pasty um, selections where you get like the stuffed peppers, tzatziki, olives and vine leaves. So we're going to have um, those with some chicken and salad and flatbreads. The boys chose some of these dairy milk caramel pots of joy for puddings um and then we needed quite a few cupboardy bits so i chose some of the special flakes they're like special k ripoff and yana's got some strawberry crisp um and then we also got i'm just going to move over here a bit some tinned bits and jars so we got some i got a boona this week for a bit of a change for the curry so it's one of the two-step ones where you fry with the seasonings and then you've got the sauce. So I've got one of those. I've got some kidney beans because I'm going to do burritos. Two tins of beans and sausages because we like them for an easy sort of brunch or uh, breakfast. So I've got those. Um, I'm going to make a Victoria sponge. So I've got some strawberry jam. And Henry chose some dinosaur sprinkles for his ice cream. So I've got those. Um, I've got some more Yorkshire tea because um, I can never run out of tea. So that was good. And um, 
also got some tomato puree just for dinners and i've got some vanilla hiding down there as well for my cake and then snacky bits i got a couple of packs of the rice cakes for the boys so we've got raspberry and apple um and then they still like the fruit mix that i do and i noticed that little actually have like a mix already done with cranberry and raisins in so i think you get all different like the golden raisins and the flame ones um so i picked up some of those and then i just got the thing of white chocolate chips to go in it as well so i'll fill up my tub they like a little pot of that after school for a snack so um got some more of those and then i've got some of the Liebner's rip-off biscuits milk chocolate butter biscuits just for our biscuit tub got some of the ground coffee um because we're nearly out of coffee got the boys some fruit wind ups just got the strawberry ones and also some mixed free range eggs which will be for breakfasts and um my cake and then we've got some treaty bits so we've got some skittles with no shells henry chose those i per personally prefer the ones with shells um but he chose those and then we also got a big pack of the frutella chews because we all like those um Yanis and i chose some of this nice chocolate so it's caramelized almonds and sea salt milk chocolate it's one of the fair trade ones so it looks really nice i think that was about two pound um but it is quite a chunky bar 180 grams so that's good and then um the boys chose these ridge cut um crisps um and i picked up some of these for us we've got some tortilla chips there sea salt and lime and then i've got a hot salsa as well um i also just grabbed some of these lilt uh kind of rip-offs the tropical crush because um I don't really drink alcohol now and I just find it like, it's nice to have something else to drink occasionally other than just like water or squash. Um, so I grabbed some of those and we got Yanis some of the Brewdog alcohol free um, cans. So you get um, eight in there. They're all different types, um, but they're all the alcohol free ones. So they were quite good value. Henry chose Pringles for his crisps. So he got some sour cream and onion Pringles. She grabbed a vegetable oil because I've run out and a Vimto just to stock the cupboard up. Um, I've got my self-raising flour there for my Victoria sponge. And then the last bits are just the bakery and the freezer bit. So I've got some muscle food burgers in the freezer. So I grabbed some of the brioche burger buns. We're having the Boona one day for dinner. So I grabbed some garlic and coriander naan breads. Um, and then I've got a whole meal seeded life just for sandwiches and toast. Um, I've got a couple of packs of these kebab wraps um, to have with our Greek salad and some tortillas there for burritos. So we're quite bread heavy this week. Um, Yanis and I chose a, uh, one of these hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut donuts each. Um, the boys had, Archie had a jam donut and Henry had a sprinkle donut, but they've already eaten theirs. We're waiting for a cup of tea. So we've got those. And then the only freezer items we got were some of these mini almond white chocolate magnums. Um, I'm not sure if they're new or not because I, I haven't been to Lidl in ages. Um, but I hadn't seen them the last time I went. They look really tasty. And you get 12 mini ones in there. So that's good. We'll all enjoy those. And then the boys also chose some bubblegum ice lollies as well, which I need to get in the freezer. And the only non-food item that we got, the Duke's there sniffing, is some of the multivitamin gummies for the kids. You get 60 in there. Um, so yeah, I didn't get any meat because we've got half a gammon joint left from last week that we're going to have for a Sunday roast. And um, I've got lots of chicken and burgers and stuff in the freezer still for muscle food, um, which is lasting us really well. So I'm going to be using the chicken and stuff from the freezer for the dinners. Um, so I will pop the final price on the screen for you now. And I don't think that's too bad. We've got quite a few kind of store cupboardy bits and treats. Um, but obviously it didn't include any meat so let me know what you think I've not been to Lidl in ages so um, I'm not sure if their prices have kind of gone up or not um, so yeah I'll stick it all away and then I'll share with you the meal plan 
Okay, and here's our meal plan. So today is Saturday and we're going to have some Greek chicken salad. So we're going to have the like meze sort of board thingy that I got and some flatbreads and some salad and some chicken. Tomorrow I'm going to use the rest of the gammon from last week and do a roast. Monday we're going to have muscle food, beef burgers in brioche rolls and I'm going to do some homemade chips. Tuesday we're going to have chicken boona and we'll have that with rice and naan breads. Wednesday I'm going to make beef chilli and some rice and I've got wraps as well because um, everyone likes to make burritos. Um, so I'll do it like a chilli and rice and then we sort of make our own wraps at the table. Thursday I'm going to do chicken chasseur I think. Um, it'll be something chickeny. Um, I've got the stuff for chasseur so that's probably what we'll have with some potatoes and veg. And then Friday I will be getting the shopping again. And we're going to have pizza night. I've got treatment on Friday, so um, it'll be a quick and easy one. We'll just get some pizzas. And I think I'm going to get HelloFresh for next week because it's the bank holiday weekend. Um, so I'll probably just get the other bits I need on my shopping and then something for a roast and the pizzas. Um, but obviously I'll share that with you next week. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.